some big news coming from the state capitol today. Connecticut officially becoming the 19th state to make recreational marijuana legal. Governor Lamont signed the bill just afternoon today. You can see him doing so right there. Lamont and Democratic lawmakers say this is the right policy for the state. I think it is a model for the rest of the nation. Um, we've had a chance to learn from others. And I think we've got it right here in the state of Connecticut. Maybe we weren't the first, but we're the first, I think, to show that we can get it right. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol. And Susan, this is a big deal for our state. Erin, it really is a big deal. As we all know, Connecticut lawmakers have been talking about legalizing adult use cannabis for a very long time. And then yesterday or last week, after a lot of ups and downs, the House and Senate finally passed it. And Connecticut is somewhat unique. Keep in mind, 18 other states have passed similar legislation, but all those other states have done it with referendum. Connecticut is the only state to get approval from the legislature. Now, neighboring states like New York, Massachusetts, and Vermont have similar legislation, and Governor Lamont and Democratic leadership have always felt that it's time for Connecticut to start cashing in on some of that lost tax revenue. Here's what people really need to know, because it's going to happen soon. A week from this Thursday, starting July 1st, people will be able to smoke and possess marijuana. As for retail sales, that probably won't happen until the end of next year. And there's also a provision in this legislation that allows people to grow their own. So there's a lot to know in this legislation. Susan, obviously with any legislation, it brings about a lot of questions. One of them, what about the impact of cities and towns? Can people just smoke anywhere they want to? Well, the answer to that is really no. I mean, cities and towns do have the discretion to decide if they want a dispensary or a grower in their town. But here's something that's in the legislation that many people may not know, and that is cities and towns that have over 50,000 residents, they cannot just simply turn away people. In fact, the legislation requires that those cities have a designated area for people to smoke marijuana. So that could be a challenge for a lot of cities and towns. Towns under 50,000, they can say no, and they don't have to have those areas. But there are many different provisions and rules. For example, you can't smoke in a state park or a parking lot or a deep boating land launch. So again, all of these details, and there are a lot of them, will be coming out probably in the coming weeks. And there really is a lot to know. A lot to be ironed out here. Susan Raff reporting for us live from the state capitol. Susan, thank you very much. And we want to know what you think about this. This is our vote now question today. Will you use recreational marijuana? And right now, the majority of you, 73%, in fact, are saying no. You can vote and weigh in at WFSB.com slash vote now or on the Channel 3 app.